completed in 438 BC, the Parthenon. The ancient Greeks were masters of deception. Even though the base of the Parthenon appears straight to the naked eye, it is in fact completely crooked. There's not many scripts that you just read and it's just like, that's a movie. And I want to see that movie. Don't look now, but there's a young guy in a gray shirt, was up at the Parthenon earlier, staring at me. Staring at me now. As soon as I read it, I was like, I would love to be in this, because movies like this aren't really made anymore, psychological thrillers like this. Mr. Dunleavy? No, no, no. I think you get the wrong one. How about Mr. McFarland? I play a man whose name is definitely not Chester McFarland. This is a man who's had many names. He's with his wife, whose name is not Colette. We don't, we never find out what's the beauty of the story. He's a bit of a swindler and, and uses people for money and we're kind of on the lam. I represent some very unhappy clients. Chester? It's all about what's going on inside the characters. Puts you in the bad guy's shoes and makes you feel scared for them. It's all over the news. You have to turn yourself in. They'll arrest you as an accomplice. They're all kind of, not villains, but they're all sort of pretty troubled characters. It's not just my character. It's also Kirsten's character and Oscar's character who subvert your expectations, I think, as an audience. You have no idea what I'm thinking. Is Chester just going mad, or is Rydell really the enemy? Who is the bad guy here? Why would you lie for him? I didn't do it for him. See what he's doing? He's trying to tear us apart. Is she the one that's being played, or is she playing the two of us? What do you want me to do? I just want to go home. Truth is, we're joined at the hip. It's that sort of slow corkscrew of the tension building up. In the suspense bits, it's very influenced by Hitchcock. All the characters are flawed, and that's why I think it's a true film noir. Now look at you, a real criminal.